Some imagination running wild somewhere. Huh? See, when your imagination goes to running wild, that puts you all bad. You go to guessing the God. Well, there's somebody, pray God, that's standing on the word of God. Standing up on the truth, glory to God. And move over, move over. Well, that's what put you on the battlefield. See, when you look, let's see here. Let's see what Paul said. Praise God. Hallelujah, glory to God. Go there to 2 Corinthians. 11th chapter and the third verse. See, we're all on the battlefield. Huh? See, he was on the battlefield. See, he met the Lord on the road to the mountain. Huh? I'm talking about he was on this battlefield. Huh? Pray God the devil was trying to make his path one way, but he was making his path straight. Huh? Pray God. I ain't talking about a straight line. I'm talking about straight. I pray God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is what Paul was doing. So many say I know Paul gospel. But do they really know it? Pray God. Thank you Lord. Hallelujah. Let's see here. Level in one. I read. Would to God you can bear with me a little in my folly. He said would to God. That you can bear with me a little in my folly. And indeed bear with me. And indeed bear with me. I'm jealous over you. Uh, well, that's why he was on the battlefield for the Lord. Because God is jealous, glory to God. And pray God, he don't want you to take no other detour. He wants you to be on the straight path, glory to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. Praise God. Come on. I'm jealous over you. But I am jealous over you. With godly jealousy. Huh? He's jealous, but it's godly, huh? On, it's holy, praise God. Thank you, Lord. Come on. I have espoused you to one husband. I espouse you under one husband. I may present you as a taper to Christ. Well, that's what he said. He said in Matthew, the king of heaven is like a certain king. That made a marriage for his son. Pray God. Hallelujah. Well, the son is Jesus. He has brought you to that husband. But pray God. Some try to make him God. But he will be out of play. Glory. Hallelujah. Pray God. Now I have brought you the one husband. And I may you as a tape to Christ. That I might present you as a chaste virgin unto Christ. But I fear lest by any means. But I fear lest by any means. At the servant of God leave. Huh? You mean the servant of God so what? The servant the devil be God leave. But the devil still is beguiling today. Huh? But Paul making it pass straight. The path got to be straight. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise God. He's making it pass straight. I pray God, even though the devil still the back of the God, he uses his craft. But pray God, hallelujah, Paul had his whole arm on. That's why he said, put the on the arm, whole arm of God, that you might be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Seems like glory to God, in order for the devil to deceive me somewhere, she has to take part of her arm out. But pray God, we got our arm out, and we fight glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Come on. As the servant of God, as the servant, the devil. Huh? See, don't you know the devil ain't gonna be able to whip you unless you take part of your arm off. Huh? You can't take your arm off. Huh? If you take your arm off, you lose. Praise God. Huh? You lose the battle. Huh? Because the Bible said that the devil is more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God have made. See, what he want to do is for you to take part of your arm out. Take your arm out and you'll see you won't lose the valley. That's all you got to do. But long as you got your arm out, you equip, pray God. Hallelujah, no weapon falls against thee. He said, shall prosper, glory to God. Ain't nothing gonna prosper. It ain't gonna prosper. Because you equip. 
Are you ready? Praise God. Come on. As the servant beguiled Eve. As the servant beguiled Eve. Through his subtility. Huh? Through his subtility. See, what all it takes is just a living to go against what God be done help you, equip you to put your arm on. Help on salvation. Shield of faith. How to be able to quench every fiery joy, huh? Ain't no fiery joy, no matter how fiery it is. Ain't gonna bear, ain't gonna fall right all through it, God. Because you got the seal of faith. You trust it in Him. You trust it in Him, pray God. Hallelujah, pray God. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Lord, bless your name. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. But the devil had to come some kind of corner way to get all past. Come on. So your mind should be corrupted. So your what? Mind should be corrupted. See, only thing you take is to corrupt your mind. Yeah. To make something to be is not, but it makes it to be as it is. And by you don't know, you go to lean and if you don't know, hey, you put yourself back. I don't know. How you don't lean because somebody else lean. Pray God, hallelujah, glory to God. But the Bible said, if the blind be leader of the blind, they both go fall in the ditch, huh? So pray God, get yeah, because that person lean and fall. Oh, he going the way to him. But once you go to lean, you going somewhere too. And both of y'all will be in the dead. Well, what going to get you out? Pray God, hallelujah, pray God, thank you, Lord. That's what Paul said, huh? He wanted you to put that armor on yeah. that you'll be able to stand in the evil day. Huh? In the evil day? He said, have done all to stand. Huh? You mean done all to stand? He said, stand with your arm. God about with what? to have the truth. Huh? See if the devil pray God can give you something wavering, something that's not true. Pray God, hallelujah, glory to God. And you go to lean it. When the real come along, he gonna break in peace and pray God what the devil be done gave you and you thought the so-called truth. See the so-called truth just not it. The Bible said you got to have the whole truth. I pray God. Jesus said I'm the way. He said the truth and the life. Pray God. He's the way. He's the truth and the life. He said no man come to the Father. He said but by me. But by me. Huh? He is the truth. Praise God. Come on. So your mind should be corrupt. So whatever. Mind should be corrupt. So how did the devil get in there? He started working on this. Huh? He go to working with your mind. So if you get weak in the mind. Huh? Huh? Then he got you now. Huh? Because he can give you something that looks strong. He can give you some food gold. How huh? it look like gold because it's shiny. But praise God, but when you get down in the grid and look at it real good, you won't see it ain't real. Huh? When you get the rub and when you get the trying a little bit, huh? See, but that's why we come in there. We got to be gold too, you know? We got to be gold that are tried in the fire. We are tried. Huh? We are tried. When we are tried, we still come forth. How we still got to be shining, huh? I still got to have that shine there. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on. From the simplicity that's in Christ. From the what? You mean this is where he come? To try to mix your inner simplicity of the God's will? It's a simple God's will. But the devil come to complicate your mind. Huh? To something that's so simple. Huh? Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, let's see. Read on. But well, he that come and preach another Jesus. You mean what? You mean 
can't somebody preach another Jesus that can do something to your mind? Huh? Even though you have the mind of Christ and it said Jesus, and they take that Jesus the wrong way, pray God that's doing something to your mind. Huh? Pray God, but it said Jesus, but it sounds like it's good. Huh? But it's Jesus, but that's that fool go, huh? Because it said Jesus, but the real Jesus, pray God, gonna be cold all the way through, pray God. It's gonna be gold on the surface and on the inside, it's still gonna be gold, pray God. I'm talking about gold that's gonna be tied in the fire, and it's gonna be gold all the way through. All the way through. All the way through. Huh? He said, if he can come and preach it, another Jesus. You mean you can preach another Jesus? Huh? Well, this is what Paul said. Huh? He'll peel. Huh? Walk with Jesus. Huh? See, like he should have do everything Jesus. But tell him. But what happened? Here Paul had paper from the chief to go to Baron Hall that called upon that name. Huh? That if he found any that way or this way, he will bring them bound back to Jerusalem. Huh? But while he journeyed, he got him a second witness, you see. Ah, the first witness, pray God, when Stephen was stoned. Ah, he got that first witness right there. But he'll come in second one, huh? See, pray God, hallelujah. After he received his second witness, he had to be blind. Huh? After he got his second witness. See, old Jonah? Jonah had to get him a second witness. Huh? He was Jonah for me going to Nineveh. Yeah. But he taught him a ship going to Tarsha. Yeah. I mean, hey, hey, well, maybe them in Tarsha might need Jesus a God more, more than the one over there in Nineveh. But God wanted him to go to Nineveh because God had already went before him and prepared the way. He had already went there and prepared their mind to be ready to receive what he had. But by him with his corner thought, pray God, he probably went to someone he thought had a little spirit of God, but they didn't need the God of heaven. He went to the one that really needed them. I pray God to give them that word, to give them the word that he needs. Pray God. So here he was. Had they been set in a way of it? Huh? Had to go through the lift trial? Huh? Here's a storm come in the sea. Start shaking the sea. Huh? See, one thing about God, the mother ship, and didn't say nothing about the mother ship. What rocking? But it wasn't but one ship that was rocking, huh? That ship that had that old backslide on there, huh? See, the one that was backsliding from the face. See, when you can't obey God, pray God, you're going the wrong way, huh? I pray God, hallelujah. Glory to God, pray God. So here he took that and began to shake it a little bit. Huh? Pray God, the sailors and all wonder, hey, what in the world is going on? Huh? Oh, uh, friend, what you doing down here speaking? When we about to perish, I uh, pray God had to wake him up and come out. And when they draw a lot, lot fell on John, who are you? And what is your occupation? Uh, well, when they found out, Lord, you are, you the one called this to come up on us. Uh, because they couldn't obey God, huh? Praise God, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Well, when they realized they had to throw him overboard, oh, we can't do that. Well, the ship boy not stop rocking until they got rid of that old back out of there. They had to throw him overboard and bar order for 
buddy ship to go smooth sailing. Oh, we can't do that to a man. We can't do that. Look at all them still them sharks and whales and all out there in the sea. We can't do that. Well, we all going down together. Throw him out. Or oh, he'll go down with it. And he still will go be saved. Huh? You mean God still will go save him? Yes, he was. He still will go be saved. So when he thought him overboard, he realized, praise God. Hallelujah, glory to God. God had already prepared that well. I had to come up there and follow him home. See, don't you know what was wrong in the first place? If he had took him a fast at the beginning, see, people don't like to fast this day in town. It would be much easier for him to obey God. Hallelujah. When you fast, you may pray God it's easier to obey God. But God don't press the devil love to ride on flesh. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Pray God. But when you fast and pray, hallelujah, you give thank room for to hear the voice of God more clearly. But this day and time, they don't like to fast. Oh, we fast too. Three hours. We don't eat no meat till three hours. We don't do this. That ain't fast. That ain't fast. See this touch making his path straight. His path got to be straight, glory to God. His path got to be straight. See making his path straight. Praise God. Hallelujah. So it'd be much easier to obey God. To obey him, huh? So after they threw him on board, the whale got him. Took him down to the bottom of the sea. Took him a three-day bath. Huh? Yeah. Then the voice of the Lord came to him way down in the deep. He said, I want you to go to where? Nineveh. It wasn't a ballad then. Huh? See, it was easy to go. God made that old whale get sick on the stomach. When he got sick on the stomach, oh, he put a Jonah in the right direction too. And don't you know, pray God, when he came out of the whale belly, he didn't come out of there cleaning himself up, uh, dusting himself off. He came out of there running, pray God. Uh, he was ready to run for the Lord. Pray God. See, Lord God, when God told Billa to go down to the desert and pray God that that unit gonna be coming down, he ran Billa to that carrier to obey. Pray God. See, God wants you to do his work quick. Oh, hallelujah. Pray God. Glory. Hallelujah. Jesus. Oh, my God. Pray God. See, if you slow poke and lag around, you give opportunity to the devil to persuade you. And the devil go to persuade you and he'll take you in another path. But pray God, but if you obey God, quick glory to God. Hallelujah, the devil won't, you won't give no room to the devil. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, here he was on the road to the mountain. The light shine about him. Knock them to the earth. He'll take them a bad too. Took him a three day bath. Ha! Huh? Pray God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. See, we don't want to be like, oh, Balaam. See, Balaam. Pray God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God told him something at the beginning. But pray God, he still. Wasn't in tune to go and seek him again. God told him that you can't curse nothing that bless of him. I am the bless of God, you cannot curse him. Well, don't you know every time he tried to curse him, it turned out to be a blessing for him. Ah, don't you know, praise God. Hallelujah. But here, Balaam promised him so much money. Oh, I give you half of the gold that I got. You curse this people, you stop this people. But pray God, hallelujah. So he got on his mule and he was riding to go to try to find some kind of way to stop them. But pray God as he journeyed, see the angel.
you got the Lord's doing in the past, didn't it? Uh, with his full glory, God blocking the way, pray God, hallelujah. See God be with you, pray God. Uh, so the mule got on this side, he whooped the mule a little bit. Oh, uh, get back on path, he was trying to tell the mule. So he went to another place. Hit the angel of the Lord there again. See, this man, this mule, smarter than he was. I seen like the mule was smarter, smarter than Bailey. After a while, the lad, when he saw the angel of the Lord standing, he fell down. And he turned around and went to talking to him. Say, oh, have I been faithful to you these times? And why smite it die me? Huh? Well, he heard that voice, huh? See, we don't want to hear no mule talk. We want to hear the voice of the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. See, God speak by his spirit. See, a mule go to talk and say all kinds of stuff. But you want to hear what God said. But God opened that mule mouth just for him. God opened that mule mouth just for him to hear. Huh? Just for him to hear. Just for him. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Well, here was Paul. Headed on that journey. See, what that go stop? Huh? Praise God. Hallelujah. But when this light church from heaven knocked him down, and the boy spoke and said, Saul, Saul, why persecuted you me? He said, who art thou, Lord? How did he know that was the Lord speaking? How did he know that that was the Lord speaking? You mean it took all that for him to hear the voice of the Lord? Huh? See, Stephen went over there. And the old deacon Stephen, he was preaching hard, trying to get those people's attention. He was making paths, his, making his paths straight too. Huh? And all the people, they stopped their ears up. They didn't want to hear no more of that preaching. Huh? Oh, enough with him, enough with him. Huh? Get that man on and get rid of him. Huh? We tired of them. We want what we want. We want this and we want that. But in order, Paul was right there. Say, so laid it cold down, and a young man beat named Saul. Huh? Well, after Saul seen that, he knew the word that he was speaking was right. I believe it put a little fear in. He went back to the chief priest to get some letters. Huh? To go to Jerusalem if he should find any this way. Huh? That if he should find any this way, he will bring them bound back to Jerusalem. Huh? Praise God, hallelujah. But you didn't hear no more of his letter. After he fell, huh? Was to the earth. And the boy told him, pray God. Hallelujah. I'm Jesus. I am Jesus whom you persecute. You mean all the time you were persecuting the Jesus? Huh? See, he thought he had God. You couldn't tell this man that he did not have God. He thought the road that he was on was right. He would have died for what he thought. But pray God until he met the truth, glory to God. When he met the truth, he realized he had to surrender. He realized he had to surrender everything that he had. Huh? Because praise God, hallelujah. And the boy told him, I want you to go over there. And it's going to be told you what to do. See, one thing about God, he work on both ends. Just like he was working on Paul. So, he was working on Ananias over there. Huh? Oh, hear the Lord come to Ananias. Telling him, I want you to go and arise. This man named Saul, he needs to be baptized. And I want you to 
go and baptize him. Come on, brother. But here this man began to argue. Oh, Lord, I heard many things. Sound like Jonah didn't want to go the right way. Sound like Jonah go find an easy way, huh? Uh, but he had to get persuaded. Hey, pray God, he's a chosen vessel. He's a chosen vessel to bear my name on King. When he realized, pray God, the pain that he had to suffer, he went on, okay, Lord. And he went over there and said, Brother Saul, the Lord, even Jesus, who not met on the way, has told me to come and baptize thee. See, don't you know that's all it takes? I'm somebody, pray God, willing and ready to obey God. But don't you know the devil got every trick out there to deviate you from the truth? Uh, they'll give you a Jesus, but is it the real Jesus? He said, but if he who come and preach another Jesus, another Jesus, another Jesus, if I preach Jesus as God, I'm preaching another Jesus. If I preach, pray God, hallelujah, glory to God, pray God, that Jesus is on God's throne. I'm preaching another Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Come on. Well, he didn't come and preach another Jesus. But if he that come and preach another Jesus. Whom we have not preached. Whom we have not preached. You receive another spirit? Huh? You mean all you got to do is receive another spirit? Huh? Oh, it might sound good. But how are you judging this thing? Ah, pray God, hallelujah. See, when Jesus brought that living water, ah, that was one way, wasn't it? Go down to fourth chapter, John. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. He that come and preach it. Another Jesus. Huh? See, he came to make his path straight. All right? Come on. Yeah. Let me start there. When therefore the Lord knew. When therefore the Lord knew. How the Pharisee that heard that Jesus made. How the Pharisee heard that Jesus had made. And baptized more disciples than John. And baptized more disciples. Then John, though Jesus himself baptized not, though Jesus himself baptized not, but his disciples, but his disciples, he left to deal, he left to deal, and departed into Galilee, and departed into Galilee, he must need to go through Samaritan, see, he had a need to go through Samaritan, huh? there was need for him to go there, come on, then come and he to a city of Samaritan. Then come and he to a city of Samaritan. Which is called Cyclops. Which is called Cyclops. Near to the parts of the ground. Near to the parts of the ground. That Jacob gave, that to, his Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Now Jacob well was there. Now Jacob well was there. Come on. Yeah. Jesus therefore knew that he that came to him was weary with his journey. Jesus therefore being weary with his journey. Jesus therefore being what? Weary with his journey. Oh, he was weary. But with his journey he got a little tired, didn't he? I pray God, hallelujah. Pray God. Come on. He set dust on the well. He set dust on the well. And it was about the sixth hour. And it was about the sixth hour. Then coming a woman of Samaritan. Then coming a woman of Samaritan. Do you think he knew that woman was coming? Uh, he knew she was coming. Uh, when he saw that man sitting up under that sycamore tree too, did he? Uh, he saw old Nathan then, huh? And Nathan said, Lord, what did I see in me, huh? Oh, well, he knew this woman would come and pray, God. Come on. Jesus said unto her. Jesus said unto her. Give me to drink. Give me to drink. For his disciple was gone away into the city to For buy his me. disciple was gone away in the city. To buy me. To buy me. See, he had to do this. Pray, God, because, hallelujah, they wouldn't understand. Because why the Jews had no dealing. With the Samaritan. 
So he had to do this, praise God, before, hallelujah, glory to God, they even came back. Come on. Then said the woman of Samaria unto him. Then said the woman of Samaria unto him. How is it that thou being a Jew? How is it that thou being a Jew? As to drink of me. As to drink of me. Which am a woman of Samaria. Which am a woman of Samaria. But the Jews have no dealing with the Samaritans. See, she even knew that, didn't she? Right. How is this crossbreed, huh? Yeah. She was crossbreed. Well, she knew that the Jews didn't have no dealing with the Samaritans. But here Jesus are coming to her. Huh? Pray God, come on. Jesus answered and said unto her. Said Jesus answered and said unto her. If thou knewest the gift of God. If thou knewest the gift of God. And who it is that, it is that said to thee. Give me to drink. Give me to drink. I would have asked of him. Thou would have asked of him. And he would have given thee living water. What kind of water? Living water. Some water that gonna cause you to live. I ain't talking about no H2O. I'm talking about spirit. See, the Lord is that spirit. And when the spirit of the Lord get in there, it's going to let you know the difference, praise God. you going to know the difference between the, praise God, the real Jesus Christ. The real Jesus Christ. Huh? When that woman was at the tomb and she was looking for Jesus, Huh? She heard that voice, did she? Yeah. It was something about that voice. Yeah. Huh? That made them pray God. Yeah. Hallelujah, glory to God. She said, where have you taken my Lord? Lord uh, she was looking for her Lord. On, and pray God. He turned around and he called her by name. Yeah. And was something about that boy. He said, at the day that you hear his voice, he said, hard not so hard. It was something about that boy that she heard. When she heard that boy, she turned around and she realized, glory to God. She said, Rabbi, Rabbi, but yeah. your master. Yeah. Huh? Well, don't you know a real person? A real person that he know where the master crib is, don't he? Know how to get to the master crib, don't he? Ah, because that's where he feed at. He feed right at his crib, huh? Ah, when you leave that out, that I go to the crib because he ready to eat, huh? Huh, because that way he feed at. Well, don't you know this is where he feed at right here. Huh, right here is where you get mad at. Praise God. You ain't gonna get mad out there. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Come on. The woman said unto him. The woman said to him. Sir, thou hast nothing to draw with. Sir, thou hast nothing to draw with. And the well is deep. And the well is deep. But which then has thou that living water? Huh? But which then has thou that living water? Or thou greater than our father Jacob. Or thou greater than our father Jacob. Which gave us the well. Which gave us the well. And drank there of himself. And drank there of himself. In his church. And his church. In his cattle. And his cattle. Jesus answered and said unto her.